Hey guys, Mike Turek here with the Medic Materials Facebook page and today is another something in about five minutes. We are going to be talking all about the cardiac conduction system. So let's get started. Alright guys, so when we're talking the cardiac conduction cycle, I want to first talk about the EKG strip here. So typically paramedics look at the most common lead, which is lead two. Okay, lead two goes from the right arm okay to the left leg and the way it looks is it looks the you know across the heart in the direction that typically electrical conduction happens within the heart so this isn't this is why paramedics look at lead two so they could see how the heart is actually functioning so when we're thinking about this think about positive and negative deflections so if the electrical activity is moving from the right arm to the left leg, we are going to say it has a positive inflection and it moves up off the isometric line, okay? But if it's going from the left leg towards the right arm, we're going to say it has a negative or a downward inflection. So like a P wave would be a positive, whereas a Q wave would be a negative deflection. So let's just keep that in your mind as I explain this here. So let's start off with saying the pacemaker of the heart, right? The pacemaker of the heart is situated right about there. And it is called the SA node or the sinoatrial node. Okay. And this has a couple branches off of it, right? So it sends electrical activity down just like this within the right atrium, but it also fires the left atrium as well. And it branches off just like that. Wow, I can't make an arrow to save my life. So this is every time the SA node fires at 60 to 100 beats per minute, this is the way the SA node is sending electrical pulses. Where it, where it goes is it goes towards another node called the AV node or the atrial ventricular node. Okay. So hold right there because that's exactly what the AV node does. It collects the pulse and holds it for a second. Okay. So let's look at our EKG. When the SA node fires, you have what's called atrial polarization or that pumping action of the atriums. This is because it's going from the right arm towards the left leg, a positive uh, deflection on your EKG, and it's going to give you your P wave. So your P wave here is your atrial polarization. This pause right here after your P wave is where the AV node collects all the electrical impulses and holds it for a second. Okay, so then we get to our first negative deflection, our Q, uh, our Q wave. So the Q wave actually goes up towards the right arm, which makes it negative, and down into the septum of the heart, where it goes to another structure called the bundle of His. Okay, the bundle of His gives the transfer of that electrical pulse down two main pathways. Okay, the first main pathway is your right bundle branch. And your next pathway comes off a little bit here. Okay, is your left bundle branch. Okay, as this electrical impulse goes from your bundle of hiss down through the septums, right, you have this R wave, this humongous positive deflection. This QRS is ventricular polarization. So the contraction of the ventricles. Okay. And as we get down to the bottom here, we get into all of the Purkinje fibers. So Purkinje fibers. Okay. And again, because these Purkinje fibers fire which direction? Towards the right arm, you get this S wave going back up towards the isometric line. 
okay? Then you get a pause and your T wave is the relaxation, the repolarization of those ventricles, okay? That's when the ventricles are filling back up with blood. And you're saying, well, Turek, where the heck is atrial repolarization? It's there, you just can't see it. It's buried inside of the QRS complex. So guys, I really hope this helps you out. It is a really quick and down and dirty, easy way to understand how the EKG is made as well as how electrical impulses are conducted through the heart muscle itself. Till next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.